Damian Diaz versus Casmaro. I'm sorry if I mispronounced his name. Do you know what I'm talking about? Casmaro. I'm not familiar with Casmaro, well, but I'm familiar with Rigondeau. Yeah, he's fighting this weekend. He's actually a Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao fighter. Now, how shocking is it? Oh, okay. He pulled out of the Rigondeau fight. He actually pulled out of the fight, okay. and he wanted to fight Donaire, who's another Filipino fighter. So when he was finna fight Donaire, basically they did a little face-off, so on and so forth. And then the fight got canceled. That's when Donaire came out okay. and said that the reason why he pulled out of the fight is because Kasmaro is on steroids. He declined Vada testing wow. because he's cycling off steroids in the Philippines. This is Donaire exposing Kasmaro for basically being on PEDs and cheating because he declined a Vada test. Now, what's so shocking is that, of course, Donaire ended up turning down the fight, as he should. But guess what? Rigondia accepted the fight again on the same day he was going to fight him previously, the first time. So the reason why Kasmaro right. pulled this move by pulling out of the Rigondia fight to fight Donaire because he was still cycling off and he didn't want to get Vada tested. Then he didn't accept the Vada testing against Donaire on time. Donaire knew what he was doing. Again, this is actually a fighter that's in camp with Manny Pacquiao in the Philippines. He was training with Pacquiao. He's a Manny Pacquiao fighter. So, mm -hmm. like Victor Conti said, what fighters do that take steroids, they take steroids over a period of time, which is like four months. And then they cycle off and try to cleanse their body two months before the fight when they actually get tested. So, if they know there's a VADA testing, if they know there is a date where they finna get tested, guess what they do? They end up cleansing their body where they be ready, where their body's already clean in case they get tested, right? So if they know that the start yeah. date, they only come when they already cleansed and clean, but they still get the benefits and the benefits of taking steroids because they've been on it for like a couple months already prior to the camp. Right. All they got to do is just maintain their shape till fight night. This is what Kasmaro kid did with Rigondeaux. I hit up Rigan Dion on Instagram and I told him, yo, are you testing him? He said this. I'm like, oh, man. <laughs> Rigan Dion had 40, 41. I don't know how old is Rigan Dion right now. He fights once every two years. He's going up against a fighter that's essentially on steroids. And nobody talks about it, even though Donaire was smart enough to turn it down the fight. But guess what? It ain't that Rigan Dion is not smart enough to do the same, but... Regan Diao can't afford turning down any opportunity. They've been blacklisting him for years. Mares, Cruz, Quig, Frampton. Right. They all ducked him. They all vacated the belts and moved up when he beat Donaire in his prime. So he'd been looking for an opportunity since then. That's why he had to move up two weight, three weight divisions to fight Lomachenko because he was desperate for an opportunity and put himself in a huge disadvantage where he can't even win anymore. That's why he right. ended up taking this fight, Kasmaro fight, knowing this man is most likely cycling off steroids and he's going to be on steroids fight night. So with that being in mind, how do you see that fight playing out? Because, I mean, Regan Diaz is really like 50% of what he used to be, but 50% of what he used to be is still good enough to be anybody. Kasmaro, if you're not too familiar with him, he's not that mm. brilliant from the outside, but he's very explosive in the inside. Like he will jump in on some Castano, and he's really sharp in the inside, hit hard as hell, put together great combinations, and that's how he knocks a lot of cats out. So how do you see that fight playing out? Because Rigi Dia is old, and we've seen his last performance. He just looked like a shell of himself. So can he beat somebody on steroids, essentially? Mm, I mean, that's tough. I think Rigi Dia, I can't really speak on Casimiro, Casimiro because I haven't seen him fight, but um, Rigi Dia, I saw the fight with uh, Lomachenko. We seem to have a little bit of trouble with him. You know, uh, Lomachenko seems kind of uh, all these smaller guys. He can get in on these angles and he, he can go over the jab. <clears throat> you know. Uh, but see, so, Loma, that was more of a size advantage, which enabled him to do that. And, Loma was like yeah. 20 solid pounds, 20, 30 solid pounds bigger than Rigo. Rigo moving up two weight divisions. Loma being active, Rigan Dio not. Loma being the younger fighter, Rigo being old. So that had a lot to play with it. The good thing that's going for Rigo in this fight is they both are the same size. Yeah, he's got a chance because he's very uh, he's very elusive, you know, Rigan Diaz. So 
he's definitely got a chance. He's got some pop. He's probably he's got he's you know the good thing about it is I mean what is he had twenty fights rigging deal yeah so it's not like he's you know it's not like he's completely washed or like fifty fights in at forty years old so maybe you could expect to see you know him to have uh, decently fresh legs so if he can avoid the the brawler this guy seems like a brawler he, he could avoid he could avoid the brawler he could probably he could possibly win on points he's got a chance. See, he just have to fight his fight because his last two fights, I see Ricky yeah. Diaz stay in the pocket with a high guard, not really moving his upper body, moving his head. He was just taking punches, trying to please the fans. Like, what is uh, you doing? It's too late for that. I mean, just fight uh, your fight. These fans, you damn if you do, damn if you don't to them. They don't care how you fight. Just win. The best way to shut the critics is you win. So I feel like Ricky Diaz, as long as he fights his fight, not try to please the crowd, stay in the pocket, because if he do that, he definitely getting stopped by this cat. Especially yeah, him being on steroids, it, it, it ain't even a question about it. But if Regan Diaz does what he does the best, which is fight, box, counter punch, with his power, you know, he a devastating puncher, especially at 118. Remember, he lost to Loma at 130, which is three divisions south of 118. So 118, he's a mm. devastating puncher. I mean, he's accurate. And for the people that's in the comment section that brought up why the public don't know about this, at the end of the day, this is public knowledge because Donaire exposed Casimiro. Donaire already exposed them in the public. So people already know what time it is. It's just old media choosing not to talk about him. So I just feel bad for Regan Diaz because that's what he got to do. He got to do the most to get a fair shot or not even a fair shot just to get a fight. But that's what he's going to have to do in order to get an Inui fight because if he captures this belt, then it ain't no question about it. Inouye's going to have to face him then. Inouye can't say, oh, Regan Dia, oh, Bob can't say that because Inouye said that he wants to become undisputed. So hold it, hold it, hold it. Hold it. You're not that pretty. I'm a bad man. Wait, wait, wait. I shook up the world. I shook up the world. I shook up the world. Witness there's only one God, Allah, and Muhammad is his final messenger. That's why I said, Larry, on the bungle fight, thanking you. They call me the problem, but you could call me the can man because anybody can get it. Africans, Americans, Dominicans, Mexicans, anybody can get it.